yeah, it's fun, yeah. right? And what's really cool too is obviously you can play with um, you know, connectivity and software updates and check the warranty and so on and so forth. But you can also uh, change the indicator lights. So that's quite a nice touch. So if you, if you find the uh, indicator lights annoying, you can actually just switch it off, right? If I just press save. So oh. that stop blinking. You know, it's fun, yeah. right? So I like seeing the sta status of the charge or discharge. If you want other funky things, you can switch it to Christmas lights. Wow, that's a lot. <laughs> that's an extra, right? Change the brightness. I, I think... Charging and discharging yeah. makes sense because it's then it gives more useful, useful right? information. And then um, same with the side of the battery. So if we go over here, so you can see the strip of light there, right? So and you can see we haven't been here that long and it's already come up that much just in, yeah, in a few minutes. But again, I, I think battery state of charge makes sense to that me. That is the most useful one to have, the battery state of charge. Absolutely. Okay, so just a couple more points. If you feel like you need to top up the battery from the grid a bit more, you can actually go to instant manual control there and you can um, charge the battery, discharge if you want, um, hold the battery at the current state of charge or self-consume. But say if you wanted to charge from the grid because it's cheap at the moment, um, you can actually you know, increase it over a certain period of time. So let's say 30 minutes um, and then we can just start using. So let's do that and you can tell you, it tells you how much is left in the countdown. And let's go back to the um, main screen. So on the main screen there you can see it should in real time start to ramp up. There we go, 22 kilowatts from the grid because it is cheap at the moment. I really want to charge my battery up. I guess Amber is still seven cents. So that's one way to really get the battery charging up. And that's the battery at full bore charging up. And then you can instantly stop charging if you've had enough. Then you can see in real time, it just slowly starts to um, ramp down again and then let Amber just do its thing once you've had enough of charging.